It's Wednesday, June 29th, 2011. I'm Kevin McShann, and this is the McShann Sports Beat Report. Success is the stepchild to job security in the coaching profession. And for Kentucky Wildcats, men's basketball coach John Calipari, his achievements both on and off the court have restored the luster and proud name of one of the more illustrious programs in all of college athletics. And on Monday, university officials made sure that their man behind the bench wasn't going anywhere in the immediate future, rewarding Calipari for his efforts 
with a two-year contract extension, which will keep him with the school through the 2019 season and pay him an estimated $36.5 million. Under the terms of Calipari's new contract, he'll earn a base salary of $400,000 plus an additional $3.4 million in media appearances and endorsements. Calipari's former contract reduced his salary to $2.85 million over the final three years of his contract, which was scheduled to end during the 2017 season. However, under the conditions of his new deal, he'll earn an annual compensation package totaling $3.8 million over the final three years of the deal. Calipari will also receive $1 million in retention bonuses as well. And if he guides the Wildcats to an NCAA championship, he'll also receive $700,000 in bonuses. A total of nine of Calipari's Kentucky players have been selected in the NBA draft, including 2010 first overall pick John Wall, who was drafted by the Washington Wizards. Calipari has coached in 618 games during a 19-year coaching career. He has a career coaching record of 467 and 151, which translates into a 756 winning percentage. During his two years in Lexington, he's coached in 76 games, compiling 64 wins against 12 losses, which translates into an 842 winning percentage. Calipari will turn 60 during the final year of his contract in 2019, and he said on Monday during a conference call with Southeastern Conference coaches that he had no interest in coaching into his 70s. Scott Van Pelt and Ryan Rossillo took some time out on Monday to discuss Calipari's new deal. They also debated where Calipari ranks in the college coaching profession and whether or not he would have the itch to return to the NBA after a failed attempt with the New Jersey Nets. John Calipari's got a new deal with Kentucky. Two years in, he gets a two-year contract extension, which means he's got eight years on this contract with Kentucky, the school announced Monday. Now, the previous deal, 31.65, the new deal worth 36.5, and uh, Darren Ravel, former colleague at ESPN now, he's with CNBC, a guy who's great to follow on Twitter as well if you're into economics or food. He talks more about food than any person on the internet. He loves him some food. He also loves numbers. He tweeted out a bunch of stuff about Calipari's contract. He'll make $120,066 per game. He'll make $30,000 every 10 minutes of coaching, which is more than the average salary in the state of Kentucky. And I'll stop it right there. Having had the opportunity to go down to Rupp Arena last year, Coach Cal told me, take a look in the upper deck. He said, go out there about an hour before game time. Look at the upper deck. He said, it'll be filled. That's all eastern Kentucky. And that's apparently the the poorer part of the state, tough times in that part of the state, but those folks from Eastern Kentucky are there an hour and change early, packing the Upper Bowl and Rupp Arena, and you know what they don't care about? What this guy makes every 10 minutes or what this guy makes every game. They care about their team mattering in the national landscape, and that's what they have done in these last two years. First year on the job with all those guys that went in the first round, they got beat in the regional final. Last year they make it back to the final uh, four, and you have, uh, you have their president, Dr. Lee T. Todd saying today, Coach Cal has led a remarkable turnaround of our basketball program, bringing it back to unquestioned national prominence in a position to compete for championships on a regular basis. And ultimately, in the state of Kentucky, in basketball, as is the case in the state of Alabama in football, they're going to pay you more than is reasonable to, to think is sane. And yet, in those states, the folks that are among the poorest in the state, I'm sure, don't care. Because what they care about, ultimately, is mattering, hanging banners, and they're going to have a chance to do that. The fact that the night left, Coach Cal has reportedly told him he had to. Terrence Jones sticks around. They've got three of the top ten kids coming in next year. And ultimately, Ryan, I don't think anybody in the state cares about these 
these dollars and cents. They, they want to win rings. They want to hang banners, and they don't care the cost. But ultimately what I believe here is that John Calipari is very similar, very similar to Pete Carroll. And I don't mean that the NCAA is going to come after him at, at, at Kentucky. That's the Everybody on the Internet will just jump to that conclusion that that's going to happen in the end because of the past at UMass and Memphis or whatever. But here's what I mean. I think that they'll win titles at Kentucky just like Carroll won titles at USC. What the comparison I'm making is that ultimately, what did Carroll do before he got to USC? He didn't succeed at a gigantic level in the NFL. Coach Cal got to the NBA and didn't succeed there. He's been a gigantic success at this level. Look, he can kill a recruiting, and they'll win a banner, I think. But ultimately, a guy that's competitive is going to want to get back to the one thing that, that the one riddle he couldn't solve, and the NBA represents that. So part of restructuring this deal is to make sure that they've got these million-dollar buyouts in place. But when you got this much cash, the buyout doesn't matter anyway. I think he'll win at Kentucky, which will make people happy. And then ultimately, I think he'll leave him sad because I think he'll he'll leave Kentucky, not because he doesn't love it, but because he wants to tackle that one frontier that he couldn't quite figure out the first time around. I never could believe how people ruled out Carroll's desire to go back to the NFL because he got so sick of hearing, oh, you're just a college coach. You can't really do it at the professional level. And that bothered him. And it drove Cal crazy when he got fired by the Knicks. You go back and read anything, any articles, any of the books, it, it, he was almost to the point of depression, like he couldn't leave his bedroom. And finally, I guess his wife was like, look, let's go out and eat and stop moping around here. It's not that bad. I agree with you. I think at some point he will go back to the NBA. There's still NBA people who believe this past offseason that he could have ended up in Chicago if some of the players had, had been filtered that way. Some there of were rumors. Free agents. There were so, rumors. You know, people can be mad about the rumors. They're out there. But I, I agree. I think this guy, he's still young enough, and he's super competitive. And he'd love to go back and prove that the Nets thing was not all on him. And I and I do believe that, that he'll be uh, that he'll win championships in Kentucky. I mean, if you look at what's coming back, and it, you don't have to follow recruiting to, to know that he's killed it on the recruiting front. The, the two years ago, it was like five guys in the first round. Last year, they had another couple of guys. And George, way to go. Harrelson goes to, to the Knicks through the, through the Hornets. Next year's the same story. I mean, they're just they're just going to reload, and eventually, when you've got that much talent, you'll win a title. So I think everybody wins. But for for coaches that are this competent, I almost I almost think it's not even like it's not even a challenge for Calipari to recruit anymore because he just and, and you can you can wonder all you want, but whatever it's about, you know, him saying it's a player's first program, whether it's about knowing the guys you need to know to get in with the guys that matter. All those things, whether it's about following Drake on Twitter, whether it's about being boys with the guys like worldwide, I mean, whatever the case may be, like it, it, they're going to just get guys every year by default because you combine him plus that brand that is Kentucky, they're going to kill it every year. And eventually, you have that much talent, you're going to win a title. I think they want. I think they would have won it this year if Cantor was ruled eligible to play. But when you're a guy like Carroll, you're a guy like Calipari, and you've succeeded at anything you've ever done, and there's that one, it's human nature. It's like if you've gone out with every woman in the world, but there's that one gal that kind of turned you down, you're going to try to take another shot and figure out how to tighten your game up so you can get one more chance to try to win her over. And I think that that ultimately at some point, I'm not saying next year, but somewhere in the life of this contract, that the NBA will come call on, I think that's a call he's going to have to take. College coaching contracts to me are pointless. Yeah, they're, what, hey, we have until 2038. No, you don't. <laughs> right. You know, it's right. just a right to pay you more to try to deter other people having interest in hiring you. They're not, they're scheduled payments until you want to stick around or until they want to fire. They don't, they don't mean what we right. feel is the definition of a contract. John Calipari has established himself as one of the elite coaches in the coaching fraternity in all of college athletics. His achievements on the court are undisputed and could one day land him in the College Basketball Hall of Fame. He's worth every penny of his new deal, which will put him and his family on solid financial footing. It will also allow Calipari and his staff the opportunity to ensure that Kentucky men's basketball remains on the national stage for an extended period of time. The only thing left for Calipari to do is to finish the job he came there for to raise banners to the rafters. Because after all, there's only one mission to accomplish in Lexington, and that is to raise the program to the ultimate height of success. And if I was a betting man, I would say that would fall under the category of a foregone conclusion as long 
of Calipari is at the helm. Kevin McShan, McShan, Sports Beat, Report.